Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's a nice day. <laughs> All right, guys, today we have a very big project, very fun project. We are doing the body kit on the LS Miata. Um, we got it at some point while the car was still driving, and then we got it to paint, and then by the time we got it back, we blew it up. So, uh, <laughs> literally right after. Like, the day Adam messaged me saying, hey, the kit's done, do you wanna come grab it, is the day the Miata blew up. But, that's besides the point. Hold on, let me turn these lights on. It's freaking dark in here. It always stays so cold in this shop. Like it'll be it's like probably 70 outside and it's probably like 55, 60 in here. This is our body kit. Let me, let me pull this out in the sun for you guys. We've enlisted Sandy's help for the day. Sandy, what do you think of the kit? Sandy? I was asking what you think of the kit. Hello? See, this is why we call her Sandy. Look how dirty she is. Are you just gonna roll all over the kit? Okay, that's fine. All right, well, this is a KBD body kit. It's a poly kit, so it's not your traditional fiberglass kit. It is super flexible. If you look, I don't wanna, so here, that'll give you an example. I don't wanna like crack the paint so I flex it too far, but you can kinda see, super, super flexible kit. The idea is you'll never break it. It's basically indestructible. So if it ever gets knocked off the car, we crash the car. In theory, worst case scenario is we'll just crack the paint, you know, or scuff the paint off or something like that. So this was kind of the perfect compromise for me because part of me wanted to stay stock body on the car because, you know, I didn't want to have to deal with exploding a kit every time I got too aggressive and then the car looks like crap until you get another kit and you repaint it. And I just didn't want to go through all that. Whereas this is like as strong as the stock bumpers, but a kit. So I am very, very hyped. Um, it's really cool that KVD makes so much different stuff now. They make a ton of different kits for a ton of different applications. They just came out with the Miata one a couple months ago. So very, very stoked to have one. Gonna be a little bit, Sandy, what are you doing? What is going on with you? Trying to show off for the viewers. Yeah. But before we get started doing anything else, I need some coffee, so. Got my coffee. I already drank most of it. We'll start with the rear. That'll probably be the easiest one to do. Too shabby. We got the factory bumper support installed. I just used rib nuts and these Allen headed bolts that I had. I thought that this went on the back side like it does on the stock one, and I was I started cutting it, and then I was like, man, this this can't be right. Like it's got to work. I'm like, oh, maybe it goes on the back side. Yeah, just boop, pop it in and then tilt it up. But this should be super solidly mounted. I mean, the only way this is coming off the car is if this comes off the car. So, you know, that, that would be bad if that happened. Dang, check it out. Look at how the bumper looks, it looks sick. Dude, this thing is gonna be low when we drop it down, because I can't put all the weight on it right now. So it's got like this much wheel gap, which it's gonna be at least an inch lower than that, if not more. The exhaust ended up in the right spot. If you guys saw that video, we made it long, longer than it needed to be for the front bumper, but that way it would be about right with this one, and it is literally like perfect. So that is sick. Um, all in all, it looks sick. It's it, it looks a little goofy right now with no side skirts and like no front end. Like it just looks 
extra aggressive. Um, so once we got to get that stuff on. But before we do that, there is something I want to do before we like finalize putting the rear bumper on. So with this bumper on, there is no way you're getting a jack all the way under to the diff. It's just not going to happen. So what I want to do is weld a bar in between these two tow hooks, because this is really solid like frame rail metal here. I want to weld the bar across and then weld the bar down, brace it from each side, pad, and then I'll have a jack point just under the rear bumper. So all I got to do is get the foot of the jack under and do 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 up we go. So that is something I want to do before we install the bumper. I also need to paint the headlight bucket. It's nice and warm out today. I want to just throw some black paint on this just to cover up the red in case we ever have all this off. So I'm going to run to the store, get spray paint, got our spray paint. So I am going to go ahead and throw a coat on the headlight buckets in the back here, but I did change my mind. I'm not going to work on the bash bar or their jack up jack point uh, right now because I thought about it and I'm like, man, I can make it bolt on since the factory tow hooks bolt on. That would be much nicer. I can TIG weld the whole thing for some good TIG welding practice. I might as well do it that way. And if installing the rest of the kit is hanging over my head, I, I'm gonna wanna rush through it and I wanna enjoy that project. We're still gonna do it within this video, but um, instead of doing it right now, we're gonna do the front bumper first and potentially do the side skirts. The difficult thing about the side skirts is the car is on the lift and you can't really do the side skirts with the car on the lift. So we've gotta get it off the lift roll it forward. The dolly I was using that's Benz is under an engine. So we gotta figure that out. But we're gonna move on to the front bumper. So let's do that now. Freaking locked and loaded, ready to go with my bolts. Got them on quick draw. Oh. All right, got the bumper on. Looks freaking sick. I've got to mess around with just getting it to fit a little better. I have it where I mounted the brackets is a little bit offset this way, so I need to scoot it back that way. I really like the way it looks. And you can see my oil cooler brackets, so you'll be able to see my gold coolers popping through there. Only thing I'm worried about is the vet intake, because it comes down, and I'm pretty sure it comes down like to like past here, so it's either gonna look horrible or, I don't know, part of me wants to redo that because it does block a lot of the radiator. I don't know, I'm not sure. I will figure it out. But yeah, it looks pimping. Check it out. Dang. I'm hyped. This thing looks freaking sick. Sick. Got the bumper fit and solid. Uh, once you pull it back and like where you would mount it, clears up the gaps. Got it evened out left and right. Looks good. Definitely good enough for me. Justin's back with his beautiful prime example of a well-maintained Miata. Oh, yeah. I just, I just have to show you guys the, the cleanliness of such vehicle. Right, man. He takes, he takes a lot of pride in his car. I do. I mean, it's, it shows, it shows. And we got Doggo. Wait, no, he ran away from the camera. Doggo, say hi, Doggo. No, okay, fine. See, so I was doing a head or a head gasket. Head, head. Oh. We think it's valve seals, but we don't really know. Well, I got this figured out, like how this, this goes. So you rivet them. I was thinking they were bolts. That's the thickness that these two can be separated, which is not thick enough for our bumper. The material is a little bit thicker than this, so it wouldn't have enough like throw to grab it and lock on. So we're gonna need to get different ones. I do wanna use these. Um, just because they're awesome. I'd like to use them, especially on the front bumper, like here and up here. So make like a little mount. Like these, actually, these would work perfect for up here. Quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, bumper comes off. That would be the end goal. But I'm new to this, so we kind of messed up and got the wrong stuff. We will, we will do it right at some point. For now, stick with the tried and true rib nuts. And the time it took me to decide how to mount my bumper, these guys got the head off. Look at that mint, mintness. Which one spark plug didn't fire? That one. 
Both of them? Oh, no, one. oh, really? Why is there so much oil in that back? Because we sprayed it in there to see if it was like weak. Oh. Uh, we didn't know if we should swap the motor or just swap the head. Oh, uh, gosh. Gotcha. I mean, we think we can just swap the head. Whatever, I'll leave you alone, Mr. Ben Miata expert. I'm not an expert. Expert. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? This bitch ass stopped filming before I seen. Oh, it's still filming. All right, well, the bumper is on officially. I'm super happy with how it looks. Got our corner lights in, got them hooked up. We're done with the front end. We do need to do the same thing for the rear. We need to throw just one rib nut right here for this corner because it's super solid mounting to the factory crash support. We just need this here so it doesn't flop around basically. So I am gonna go ahead and do that real quick. It's getting a little too late to start on the jack point tonight and I'm gonna do the jack point before the side skirts because I have to take the car off the lift to get to the side skirt. So there's no point in taking it off to put it back on to take the bumper back off. You know, I'm just gonna wait until the jack point's done, do the side skirt. So we're gonna do both those things tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. All right, we are back at it. The plan is to take this tow hook off. We'll have these two holes to mount to, so we'll build a plate that mounts to those holes, probably somewhere right around here. So you slide the jack under, jack the car up. That is the plan at least. break could just take the truck which is right there but I want to pass an opportunity to take the pit bike good old pity first kick brothers mission success. Marco's on the way to come hang out, give us a hand, even though we don't have much left to do. Uh, I've got my plates done, got both sides done. What to do now is measure for the bar going across, put it in, tack it in, then we can take this out and start making the rest of it, I guess. Or I guess make, I don't know, we'll figure that out. First step, bar going across. Ben and Justin got a head back on this thing. Freaking shredders. All thanks to trailer. Yeah, yeah, I did so much work on this thing last night while you guys weren't here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get there? I got the thing in. I did have to MIG weld it because once I ground it down, the gaps are kind of big. So I MIG welded this piece, but I am going to TIG weld the rest of it. I'm happy with how it came out. <laughs> I welded Marco's that. here. Oh yeah. I welded that. Did you? Yeah, you well, didn't see me? Marco's a professional welder. I did that, that's my I weld. mean, well, this, these aren't professional welds anyway, so. Those are professional, look at that, that looks amazing. No, this one's nice. You did the other ones. <laughs> All right, this looks like a trailer hitch. How do you know it's recording? It says oh, it says wreck. Wreck. Yeah, not record. Wreck. Recreational purposes. All right, so. This is pretty cool. I can't stop touching this. That's fine. That's fine. Don't get motion sickness and it'll be your fault. <laughs> you got a tiny head, Marco. I just have a big head. It looks like a trail hitch. That's all I have to say. We're welding the straight piece on. I'm going to weld this. this is going to go on the bottom of that. Obviously centered. And then I'll have two things going down to it. I'm just gonna like completely weld this first. You always show the nice and easy, and I'm like, oh, that feel like that's a, a 30 time, minute progress. I time lapse it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just seen you cleaning up for like 20 minutes. It took like five minutes. So you could have a pretty weld. Oh, I gotta turn my welder on. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah.
knives cut. I ended up having to cut them completely with the bandsaw. I tried to cut them with a chop saw and it's messed up and it came out with a crappy cut, but you can see how nice of a cut the bandsaw weaves. Much nicer. That swag off road quarter band stand is like amazing. Quite cheap. That looks like it came in the Miata stock. It looks like a trailer hitch, dude. Doesn't it? <laughs> Like a stock trailer hitch. Like a trailer hitch this way, but it goes this way. But if it was this way. Oh, you're right. You can legit just like receiver. a little mini trailer yeah, hitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was looking at like the plates and everything. This is like a built-in trailer hitch. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I can't use this thing for the life of me, man. He's trying to eat a It's because up and down. Look at him. He's trying to eat a chicken thing. What is that? It's a crispy snack wrap. Mm. Marco and McDonald's. <laughs> you still have your McDonald's hat? Uh, yes, actually, I did. Do you? Of course. Need to weld this and then I can weld the foot on. It's all welded. Most of the welds came out decent. They're nothing too special, but they're not bad. They're all like decent looking. There's a, there was, I feel like they were better over the, on this side. Eh, all right. Anyway, I uh, got a thorough coat of paint on it before we put it in. So now we're gonna pull the car off the lift somehow. That's the plan. All right, Marco. That's the plan. Marco looks like he's ready to go. No, I'm not. Got his camera on his shoulder. I'm just gonna lose it or break He's about it. to That's say bye. Every time. Watch. That is not a good place to put it it's if you don't want it to there, break. I'll forget. Put it up there. Oh, true. You're saying, but that is pretty sketchy. It's not sketchy at all. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep pushing. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hit the ladder. That's as far as we need to go. We're good. All right. We're good. We're right here. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, it's 360 turn Alright, it's Painting the thing, the jack mount. What are you guys doing over here? Is the car not working? No, the water pump is like rubbing. Oh, and the plastic? Yeah. Yeah, mine always, mine always did that. I told Marco the lighting was good for pictures of his car, so he's been taking pictures of his car. It is really good lighting for it, though. It's like right here, look at that. Doesn't it look sick? Send it, send it. Are you gonna send it? I'm gonna send it. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, sinking two here. Rib nut, rib nut, rib nut, rib nut. And then as many as we can here. Close the door. He said maybe. Yeah, right there. Dang, it looks sick. Marco set my wheel. <laughs> we got a camber at Marco, what are you doing? Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. You got, here, act, we need active camber, Marco. I got a socket. Okay, okay. Ta -da. Oh, yeah, no, that's too weak of offset, though. We gotta space it out some. Okay, hold on, man, this is not, this is an FR Sport over here, FR Legend. There you go, look at that, that's pimping. Oh, that's a lot of camber. Well, you said put camber. That's fine, that's fine. You can't tell me. Let it ride, let it ride. <laughs> That's, what <laughs> That's like 10 degrees of camera. Well, you told me to add camera. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look at the rear. It's positive. Well, it's because it's high right oh, now. Dude, so I used awesome. Allen bolts Wait. and riv nuts. No, that is too much camera. All right, I'll pick some back. But take it, take some back out and give it, give it more flush fitment. What? Is, what is that? What is that weak fitment? Beek. That is not enough camber. What? Oh my God! Right there, right there. But more fitment? But more fitment. Way right. more fitment than that. I know where it goes on the tire. Poke them, poke them some. Pocket and tire, how about that? More? A little more. Yeah. There you go, there you go. That's pimping, all right. It's gonna fall. It's fine, no, it's perfect. It's, it's falling beautiful. though. It's beautiful. Hold on, let me fix it. Ta-da! It's, it's fine, no, it's fine. It's a lot of caster, that's all. A lot of caster, extra <laughs> caster. Well, I need another. Megan, pass me that metal thing. No, never mind. It's pimp. Dude, look at it. It is a monster truck in the rear, but it looks sick. 
I like it a lot. The black Allens like blend in pretty well too with the color yeah, of the car I, I and everything. I was a little like worried about that. Marco but... was skeptical about yeah. my rib nutting. Because you did such a good job in the rear and the front and I was like, this kind of looks clean and not like... Yeah, not like rib rivets car. showing everywhere. Yeah. And, and I, I think, think it's... Get black rivets from my car. I think it's, I mean, it's pretty solid too. I don't really need to mount the bottom part. It, it is 100% very solid. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. If it comes off, we, you know, we have a bigger problem. All right, guys, well, we're gonna throw the other one on. I'll show you the finished product, but I'm hyped. Are you hyped, Marco? Yes. Are you hyped for me to have a cool car for once in my life? Well, so what if, what if I hit it? That's fine. <laughs> I mean, try not to. I'm that's trying. That's the point of KVD, right? Because it's flexible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. The kit is never gonna get destroyed. You should have seen how it was shipped. Like those mattresses. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's the future, man. It's the future. And then Adam, Adam did a killer job on the paint because I literally flexed that side skirt with paint on it all the way around and it didn't crack the paint. Wow. So Adam killed it with the paint. KVD killed it with the body kit. Let's install the other side before I procrastinate too much. I still gotta install that thing, which I just realized I should have installed that first. Why? So we could jack the car up to get it back on the lift now that it has the body kit. <laughs> well, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's high enough in the rear right now, we should be fine. Maybe. Hopefully. New jack point, looks nice, came out decent. Yeah. Pretty proud of it. Pretty perfect height too. Yeah. yeah, it's like just above the bumper, which is where I wanted it. So that way I can sneak the jack in here and hit it without having to start crumpling the bumper to get to it. But it's not so low that it's gonna scrape on the ground. The bumper will scrape first. And I made it bolt on so if I crash the car and move it over to another car, or if I need to take it off or whatever, I can. So we went ahead and just put the rest of the car back together. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We just put the hood on so we could get kind of the final look. And man, I'm hyped. It looks sick. I feel like you'll never drive this car aggressively again. Yeah, right. It looks so good. And if you do, everyone's gonna hate you. No, Yo, it'll be don't fine. The brand new body kit. It won't get damaged. That's the point. Oh. It's indestructible. Oh. It might damage the paint, and I might have to get it repainted, but it's not gonna break the kit. Dude, it looks freaking sick, man. This is such a motivating thing. We just keep like circling the car. Having the kit makes the paint look more at place, like at home, whatever. It looks way better with the kit than I thought it would. Cause I was 50-50 before doing this on whether or not I wanted to do the kit or stay stock body. And then KBD came out with their kit. And I'm like, well, I can kind of get the best of both worlds, but I'm still not sure which one I like better looks wise. Definitely the kit. Definitely the kit. I, that wasn't even a question in my mind. Well, still. It's amazing. Some people have different tastes. Yeah. No, it looks, it looks so good. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new look for the Miata. Obviously it's not completed. Picking up an engine in a couple days. Hopefully, maybe we'll have the car done by the end of the week. Just depends on a couple of little things, but. You, it, you'll have it done in a couple of weeks if you tear no, down the motor. No, this week. This week. No, you need to tear down the motor. No, I'm putting a cam and springs in it and I'm letting her eat. No, don't let yes. her eat. Yes, and then I'm rebuilding that one. I'm not waiting. Doesn't matter. There's things on the back burner, or, or there's things in the background that might happen with the motor that I'll tell you guys about later the if motor? they happen. Motor, engine, <laughs> it's not a motor, it's an engine. Electric engine motors. <laughs> but anyway, uh, go check out Marco's channel. He is documenting, all you guys ask uh, if Matt has a channel. He doesn't have a channel, but Marco has a channel. Marco and Matt are shop buddies, and Marco is filming the progress on Matt's new car, which if you guys haven't seen that, that's also really cool, so you should go check yeah, that out. And the Link below. And my car too. Yeah, and my, you know, Marco's car too. But <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We all thanks. Tandem, by the way, I'm sorry. To well, yeah, of course. Again. Because now we all have V8s. True, true, <gasps> true. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye, guys.